Hello guys. My name is Jonah. My name is Soren. And, and we, we are, are having Jaws Fury tomorrow. tomorrow. Just a little bit about us. Soren and I are both identical twins. We yep. have 15 millimeter class three malocclusions. Her in layman's terms, that's called an underbite. Yeah. Underbite is when your lower teeth actually sit in front of your upper teeth like this. Like that. It's been kind of hard living with an underbite. Um, we've been looking forward to this jaw surgery our entire lives because yeah. when you have an underbite, um, like simple eating is kind of a problem. What I tell <laughs> most people is if you think about having scissors or shears just glide past each other, imagine moving the blades of a pair of scissors 15 millimeters apart <laughs> and then try and cut a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how I describe it. So, so that's what we've been dealing with. And my brother and I also have a genetic condition called ectodermal dysplasia. The ectodermal dysplasia in our case doesn't affect our nails or our hair or sweat glands like it does in a lot of people, but it does affect our teeth. Yeah. So in my particular case, I'm missing 17 adult teeth. I have 15 permanent teeth in my mouth at the moment. And I'm pretty much the same because we're identical. <laughs> so, yep. I also play French horn. Having an underbite and a lot of missing teeth has been kind of a struggle playing horn in the past. But at the moment, our surgery is going to put me off the loop for about four months. So I ended up playing French horn for the last time in a good while today. But um, things probably won't be the same after this for a while. But, you know, I'm ready to move on and I'm ready to get it over with. Yeah, so the way we're doing the surgery is by something called distraction, okay? And uh, we have what's called mid-face deficiency. And our lower jaw is in the correct place, but our upper jaw is recessed, it's too far back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that out, but it's not gonna be in one shot. The maximum you can do with a regular upper jaw surgery or the Fort one osteomotomy is about eight to nine millimeters of regular advancement. And through distraction, we'll be able to pull the upper jaw out by about eight to nine millimeters. And once you're done doing that, the bone will actually relapse slightly and come back to hopefully where we want it. Of course, and this um, is this is all taking place with what's called a rigid external distraction device, yeah. or an RED, or RED. And it's essentially a, um, a very purple, stylish <laughs> halo that will attach to our skull very tightly on either side of our head with pins. It'll come around the front of our face, and then it'll come down the center of our face, where we'll have um, almost like a T cross-section bar that will um, attached to this tusk appliance that's sitting on our teeth that we just had glued on today and there will be wires attached to this so we will be pulling it forward very slowly but depending on the bone quality um, we may also have wires coming through the skin or transcutaneously um, and that just provides um, better stability in the vectors that they're pulling so of course and they were there will be two plates right below the cut yeah. that those wires would attach yeah. to so Soren and I have watched multiple um, Laporte 1 osteotomies <laughs> on YouTube, so we know a lot of the or uh, the processes of how the surgery is going to take place. Um, personally, I'm not too bothered by it because big surgery, big results. I mean, I don't think I'm I'm terribly ugly and not frightening people as I walk outside, but I, I think it would be nice to see my face look a little differently. So yeah. I'm really excited for the change that's about to occur during the next three months. And hopefully we get all this done before college. We just had prom last weekend and we didn't have any of this yet. Yeah, absolutely. And it was yeah. a blast. <laughs> Thank it, was Lord. A, it was a good way to end our senior year. Um, I won't be going to school after this, but no hopefully way. I can walk in that's graduation. That's fine now. So, yeah. Um, our lives change tomorrow, I guess. That's just kind of our situation and we wanted to go ahead and give you guys a rundown before we really start um, filming the surgery process and the orthodontics process. So it's a big life for, uh, event for us and this is probably going to be our introductory video so we'll go ahead and roll the tape from earlier today and to just to show you um, what we looked like before <laughs> surgery Yeah. and before we had this thing put on our face and, um, and just to show you what we've gone through today. Okay, so um, I'm about to go get a buzz cut get all my hair taken off before surgery so it's a little more comfortable and everything. Tonight I'm gonna go to Roanoke and meet my orthodontist and I'm gonna get the appliance stuck to my teeth. Um, I'm gonna look like a catfish maybe. And then tomorrow's a big day. All right, I'm back. I almost look like an egg. It's really short, but you know what? It's gonna be convenient. It's starting to get real. So, see you in Roanoke. Hey guys, uh, we just got back from our last solid meal. Last meal. But uh, we're currently on our way to our orthodontist so we can get the tusk appliance fitted to our face and get the system of wires glued onto our teeth. All right, and then I came back and saw that haircut. So 
pretty short. Honestly, probably a good idea with the distractor, but I mean, like I told you, I have to deal with it. Hey, dude, how hey. you feeling? We're here. Tell me your thoughts on this. Thoughts? I'm about to look like a walrus for about three months. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we're, we're at the orthodontist. I'm really excited. Dr. Johnson is great. He's one of the best orthodontists and one of the kindest people I've ever met. So, he's yeah. a real class act. He's, and, a, uh, he's a real dude. He's so. actually willing to meet with us pretty late tonight after hours to yep. get all of this figured out. So, yeah, yeah we're excited. We'll, we'll show you some uh, footage of him putting it on. So Yeah, sure. That's what we get. <laughs> that is really cool. Yeah, so you can go ahead and get a look at that. Do you want me to turn the music off? Mm -hmm. Either way is fine. Be, will you tell me, I mean, is it good? No, no, that's not a problem. That's good. Yeah. I'm going to try it in first. Um, where okay. you've got the porcelain stuff up on the top, I've got to use some special um, stuff to prep those. Okay. Sure. That has to sit on there for about two minutes. Really strong glue, the strongest stuff that I have. Sure. Um, it's called glass outermer and also uses chloride. So we're going to use that on the inside of the bands that fit around the back teeth. Mm -hmm. And then on your front teeth there, we're going to use that special stuff to get the teeth prepped. Okay. And then we'll use uh, some stronger glue like I used to put brackets on. Sweet. It's going to be a little cold here. There you go. How's it feel? Tight? Actually okay. But not uncomfortable, right? No, it's fine. Okay. All right, this one's pretty big. This one may kind of drive you crazy. Lick your lips for me, actually. Good. Not too bad. No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. So this um, is a stronger acid etch that we use on porcelain. It doesn't uh, etch the same way that enamel does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dad's headed for a, a shoulder surgery in a few weeks here. Mom. Dude, you guys just bite it all off at one time. Yeah. Not uncomfortable, but you're no. like, okay, there's pressure there. Yeah. Okay. Feels good. Mm -hmm. I like where your bows are, so I'm not gonna adjust those. Cool. So same deal. You're gonna give it one last. Burn. One last feel. One last feel. Last time we feel in that. <laughs> good. Ah. Good. Good as ever. Good as ever. <laughs> Well, that's all for tonight. Surgery tomorrow. Let's get it. Adios. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I just got up. I'm Jonah, by the way. In case you still aren't able to tell the part at this point, <laughs> it is currently 4:59 in the morning, uh, May 21st, and I didn't sleep at all last night. But that's okay because. Um, you're probably expecting me to sleep before the biggest surgery of my life. I, I think it'll be alright. I'm excited. Tomorrow's not in the car with us because his appointment's um, a bit later than mine. A couple things that I didn't add in the introductory video that I just want to go ahead and clear up. This surgery is obviously not just for cosmetic purposes. It's definitely for functionality. And of course the cosmetics is going to be the added bonus of having an upper jaw surgery like this. But mainly this is just to help functionality because I have trouble eating and doing other things. Along with our ectodermal dysplasia, none of our teeth actually touch each other when we bite down because we're missing so many teeth and because our underbite is so big. So um, I'm really looking forward to having some of my teeth actually hit each other. One, I try to bite down. <laughs> as far as what we're going to do orthodontically in the future or even possible jaw surgery in the future, I'm not really sure. But this is just a major first step in getting our upper jaw in the place it needs to be so we can continue with this process. So am I scared? Absolutely. <laughs> Am I excited? <laughs> Even more so. So I'll see you guys on the flip side when I wake up. I'll see you guys later. Hey everybody. I'm about an hour from going into surgery. So I've got the, I've got the IV set up. I'm in the bed and my gown is actually heated. So I'm living a good life here <laughs> in the hospital. And um, I guess I'll see you on the other side. Good morning. It is 8.30 or so. Um, and I am headed off to surgery. Jonah is currently in surgery at the moment. It's pretty exciting. He's been in the hospital over here. And I'm excited. Um, this is definitely going to be worth it. And probably the last time I'm going to be able to talk for a few days comfortably. So it's going to be good. My surgery is at 10, 10.30. And uh, we went downstairs to get breakfast. And there's two coffees right here. And I can't drink it. <laughs> and I've been really hungry. I didn't sleep at all last night. I don't even think I got one minute of sleep. 
um, pretty, pretty long night, so, but I'm excited, um, and I'll see you guys when we get to the hospital. Okay, so I'm in pre-op now, we just got our IV in, um, John is still in surgery, um, I've got great nurses, they're doing a really good job, uh, and I'm good to go, so, yeah. Hey everybody, Tiona here. Um, it's currently um, 9.40. I had doctor degree today in the morning at about 7.15. So I've just been lying here and recovering all day. And it's interesting having this thing on my head. It hurts a little bit to swallow. Um, I'm a little sore. Well, okay, Jonah. Uh, um, what have you eaten today? So, so I've eaten some, some broth. I've had some Sprite, some um, sweet tea, and some cranberry juice. It's really drinking, not eating, but I mean, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next three months. I'm using a syringe over here to go and do it all. And my wonderful mother, who's filming me now, is helping me with that. So we're all clear fluids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you gotten up yet? Have you? Are you able to walk around? Um, I will, I got up to use the bathroom once, and that was really tripping. Um, I got a little bit lightheaded because I've been laying here for um, twelve hours ish, eleven hours. So that are, was okay. Are you glad you did this? Absolutely. Yeah, I I wouldn't trade this for anything. I've been waiting my whole life to have this surgery, and even though I'm not feeling great right now, I'm, I'm still doing okay, and I'm glad that this is happening. I'm ready. I'm really ready. So, it's good. Okay. Are you tired? Have you slept today? Uh, I've taken a couple of naps, which is great to kill time because I'm just here talking to a couple of friends mm -hmm. on my phone. It's really nice. I've got a lot of people checking up on me and making sure I'm okay, so I've been just talking to them. Talking to them. How are, how are the nurses and they're great yeah. they're really good they're super friendly and they're they sympathize with me and yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's all right so when do you go home tomorrow morning can't wait actually i can't because it's pretty comfortable <laughs> I'm, I'm treated like king like a king here I'm, someone's feeding me i'm gonna all snuggle it up i guess so it's all right yeah. Okay. All right. Till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. Okay, so it's about uh, 27 or 8 hours after surgery. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm on a lot of pain medications. I just have more fentanyl. And I'll probably be leaving here in about 20 minutes, so. Um, I'm in a little bit of pain, but the pain medications are really helping me out. And I'm really excited to start start this process. Um, uh, I've been talking to a lot of friends at home. Got a lot of support from that home, which is nice. Uh, the nurses here are great. It was pretty hard sleeping last night, though. And I have continuous nosebleeds every time I stand up. Um, overall, I feel kind of weak. It's a little hard to walk, um, but I'm, I'm sure that'll go away after a few days. Um, my upper jaw is completely detached right now, so I can feel my jaw moving some, which is a little strange, but I'm getting used to it. And then here, in a minute, well, when I'm discharged, I'll go to my surgeon's um, place, Dr. Margolis, to get some x-rays and a digital cleaning, and then I'll be on uh, to go home. So, just wanted to give you an update, and thanks for listening. Hey guys, it's Jonah, um, day two, after surgery, and I just wanted to go ahead and give you a quick update of how I'm doing. Um, I've been eating through this, uh, I've been eating through this, um, strange and plunger today and it's been really helpful because I can just kind of serve myself and do it this way so 
not quite on straws yet, but this is pretty good. About an hour or so ago, my mom helped me wash my face off of a rag, and oh, that felt great. So, I was in a lot of pain this morning, and my blood pressure was like 167, and I was just wasn't having it. So, um, they're going to go ahead and up my dose of oxycodone when I go home and give me some um, Tylenol and ibuprofen to alternate on. So, I think that'll be okay. In about an hour probably or so, we're going to go head over to Dr. Markolis's office to make sure everything's where it needs to be. Um, I've got plenty of swelling in my upper lip. I can't feel my nose. I can't feel my upper lip. I can't feel the area under my eyes up here. And it's all a little puffy, but that's all part of the game. It's to be expected. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys later. And uh, until next time. Hey guys, um, we just, we've been in the car for about a half an hour because we just left the hospital. Um, I've finally been reunited with Soren. I've only seen him twice over the last two days very briefly, so yeah. we've just been kind of catching up on our experiences. Um, I think Soren probably has had it a little worse than me in the whole process. Um, you can see that I'm a little crusty, but um, Soren's been having continual nosebleeds, so. This is not stuff, and every time I stand up, my nose bleeds. So yeah. You know, it's the way it goes. So it's, it's been a little rough for him, but, um, We've got wonderful friends that have been making sure we're okay in the whole process, and I've been talking to a couple of my close friends yeah. over the course of the last past couple days, and it's really helped. So, um, I am totally looking forward to taking a shower. Um, this is the one thing that's keeping me going right now. Yeah, um, it's, it's been it's been good. I'm excited to get the process started. Um, we couldn't go see Dr. Margolis and his um, his staff, so we're gonna go probably next Friday or Monday. It's Wednesday right now. Oh, you mean this Wednesday. Friday? This Friday. This, this Friday. Either tomorrow or on Friday. Yep. So, I guess that's the plan. Um, we're really close to home. Yeah. And, um, feeling better now. or decided to start treating my face, so. Yep, we're going to start cranking screws on Monday, so. Yep. Should be good. Alright. Yeah. I'll see you guys. Peace.